Today, we're going to paint some ducklings, two of them, a pair, walking along a green grass, having a great day. So let's have some fun and get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, get them wet, moist, put some water in your palette. Let's get started. So today I thought we would paint some cute ducklings and I went online and looked at several photographs and this photograph really caught my eye. And so there's two of them and I love the yellow with a bright green background. Let's get started. Let's start with our round with pointed tip brush and load it with some lemon yellow. Now the two little ducklings are off to the side. So I'm going to put the two ducklings on the right. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is going to be a little bigger than the other one because it's farther away. So let's make the body shape here. It comes down here and has a fluffy little body here. Out there, spread that paint. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, that's kind of the undercoat. Now let's think about where we want to put the other duckling. It's about right here. Again, Load your round with pointed tip brush. Now it's going to be smaller. Form the head. Like that. And then bring it down and do the body. And load your brush as needed. I need to load mine with some more paint. It's starting to run out. And we're making it a little bit smaller. That's looking pretty good. Now this just looks like a bunch of shapes. It doesn't look like much. But we're going to work on that. Be patient. Take your time. Take some deep breaths. Let's stop and give it a good dry. Let's switch brushes to our liner brush. Now I noticed when I made this second duckling here, I don't like the shape and I need to make more definition of the neck. And I'm just going to wet my brush and lift some of that paint out. And that's the nice thing about watercolor. If you don't like something, you can slowly lift the paint out by wetting your brush and work that surface. I want a little bit more definition where the neck is. Just like that. The neck was too fat. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Now 
Now let's work on making the beak. The beak is a very light color. So let's load our liner brush with some white. some white on your palette here. And next we're going to add a touch of cadmium red. Just a touch. So it's a light orange. And do the beak. And the beaks are about right here. And they're not very big. They're little. Because these are duck beaks. So we want to just make And they're round, they're not sharp. And the tip is round, so you want to round that. Now as I look at this, it's a little bit short, so we're going to make it a little bit rounder and longer. Like that. Then do that on this other one here. So on this one, I see that I need to extend it more and make it rounder. Just a little bit, kind of like that. And then make it like that. That's looking better. Now let's give it a good dry. So I don't want to mess up my beaks. And if I work around that area, it's will it can smear easily. Let's stick with our liner brush. Now let's add some cadmium yellow. And let's put some up here and spread some of that and leaving some of the undercoat showing through. Now the, the eye of the duckling is going to be about right here. The eye is going to be very dark, so we'll work on that a little bit later. Let's continue with this cadmium yellow and put some down below here. And the duckling's breast is lighter, so we want to leave some of that undercolor there. And let's bring some up here and a little bit on the side wing here. Bring it around. And add a little water here and blend this so it's not like a line. It's more transition. That's looking better. Now let's load our brush and go to the other little duckling there. It's friend. They're hopping along having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. And I find that painting really relaxes me and lets me not worry about the dishes or what I need to do. Just be here now. And then we need some a little bit above here. Like that. Add a little water to my brush. Transition that. That's looking pretty good. Now let's add, they have some little feet. Now we're using the same color here with the white and a touch of cadmium red. You might want to make it a little darker than the beak. Just a tad, not much. 
That's pretty good. And they're in the grass, so you're not going to see a lot of their feet. They're just barely showing there like that. That's good. Now let's work on the eye. Now to make that dark color, we want to use burnt umber. and some ultramarine blue. And I would say that to get that dark dark, you want to use just a touch more of the burnt umber than the blue. Otherwise, it'll be more of a gray color. All right. So the eye is about right here, and it's just really dark and just like a little spot and one right there that's looking pretty good doesn't need much all right let's give it a good dry before we continue Let's take our round with pointed tip brush and we're going to, I'm going to clean my palette here. I want this color to mix in. Let's take some of our Viridian Green, put some of that on our palette and add some yellow ochre. I'm mixing the two colors to get more of an olive green. So I'm using the Viridian Green and the Yellow Ochre. And let's put some blades of grass, just a little bit. Again, we're using the vignette style, so we're not going to cover the whole page. Just where it looks like it makes sense, and some of it's up by the feet of the ducklings, and that will cover it up. So just make the blades slash... Go a little bit back and forth. And then wet your brush. And blur, kind of smear and spread that paint on the bottom of the grass. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much. And that's what I like about watercolor. Just add water and you can do some wondrous thing just like that. So there's the grass. Now we need to create a little bit of background here. We want the background to be soft and have the depth of field look. So let's go ahead and create that. Now, wet your brush. Now I have some of the mixture of the Viridian green and yellow ochre. I wanna add some more of the yellow ochre. I want it to be lighter. That's looking pretty good. And start, let's start right here, like that. And I like starting on the edge of the duckling and spreading out. Now there's quite a bit of paint there, and I'm going to continue to spread that and not really add a lot of paint and since this paint is wet right here, I'm going to load my brush with a little yellow ochre and just add it straight on the paper and let it smear and spread. And that will give it the soft kind of blurry effect. And if it's too dark, which sometimes that happens, you can dot, you can dab it with your handy paper towel. Kind of like that. 
and then re wet it, and that will soften the color. Now, as I look at that, I see it, it's kind of, it's turning more into the shade of brown. So I think I'm going to change my mind. And sometimes when you're doing watercolor, that happens. You try something and you think, oh, I don't like how this is working. So I'm going to revert back to just using straight viridian. And that is a little bit strong, but again, with the wonder of watercolor, you can soften it by adding some water and then dabbing it. Still a little dark, but you have to play with it. Have fun. Think that it's a fun experiment. That's looking better. Bring it up here. With watercolor, a little paint can go a long way. That's looking pretty good. Now I think right here the grass gets faded, but I'm gonna go back and I see that sometimes you might get a, a bright line. And if you want to soften that, you can just wet your brush and pick up some of that paint. That's looking better. And with watercolor, you just need to wet it to activate it. And just kind of play with it. So let's continue. Spreading that green. Be careful around the, the beak. Overlapped a little bit. But I'll just pick up some of that. Light dabbing. That's better. Spread that paint in front of this small little duckling. They're waddling along, having a great day. I just think they're so cute. That's looking pretty good. And I see I need this is a little bit light. So let's add a little more green there. Just like that. Okay. Now sometimes you might get a line like this and I'm going to take my liner brush and work on, now on the edge of the duckling, there's like, they're fuzzy. They're just so fluffy and fuzzy. So we're going to create that. I'm going to clean my palette right here. Use my liner brush 
And I want to put some white on my palette. And add a touch of the cadmium yellow. Just a touch. You don't need that much. In fact, I have some here on my palette. I'm going to draw some out of that. Mix it. It's just a faint yellow. And I'm here just kind of put some um, cross hatches, kind of like what you did on the grass. Want that a little bit darker. And I just added some of the cadmium yellow. I want it to show up a little more. That's a little bit too, too light. And just like I did on the grass, I got some of those little fluffies coming out. Just bring it along this way from here. And that will kind of lighten that line that you have there. If it starts to turn green, that means it's running a little bit. That's okay. Just put some up here. Let's add a little bit to the other deck there. Some of that fuzzy hair, those little hairs that stick out. Kind of like that. Just want to blend some of that here. I'm just wetting my brush. They're just so fun. They're having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. Then put your brush down and always take time to look at it. You know, there's things I, when I look at my painting, I think, well, I could do better, but do I like it? Do I get a happy feeling when I'm looking at it? And I do, you know, don't look at your painting as well. Is it perfect? Is it perfectly proportional? Does it look like the photograph? This is your interpretation. Your beauty. You're beautiful. And I'm so glad you joined me today. So I can't wait to next time to paint with you. Please join me next time.